Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the virtual college um, exploration for all of our Indiana students. Um, I am here to welcome you all to your session this evening with Lake Erie. Um, before we get started, though, we have a couple little points that we want to address. First, if you have questions, please feel free to put those in the chat. Um, we will be able to answer those questions for you based on um, time, um, but do remember that your microphone and your camera are off. Um, our panelists cannot see or hear you, so this is the best way to ask them any questions you may have. If you love this session and want to hear some more, we do have a few sessions remaining this week, um, so feel free to, to head to that website that we have listed on our screen here, inacac.org forward slash virtual dash college dash exploration. Um, we are also recording this session as well as all of our other session, sessions. So if for some reason you have to step out or if you know a friend who would love to see this, feel free to direct them to that same website to view the recording. Well, without further ado, I will pass it on to our presenters. All right, hello everybody. Um, welcome to the Lake Erie College presentation. My name is Kaylee White. I am an admissions counselor at Lake Erie College, as well as a um, alum of Lake Erie College as well. So uh, welcome. There we go, unmuting myself would be good. Um, hi everyone, my name is Alyssa McIntyre. I am an admission counselor here at Lake Erie College as well. And I'm gonna kind of be coming in with those questions. So make sure you ask everything you wanna know about Lake Erie College. And I will be kind of talking at the end. So, and answering some of those questions. All right, so let's get into it as I share my screen and all right, so as we said before, we are from Lake Erie College, and this is just a basic presentation kind of showing you what we have to offer as an institution. So uh, to get started off, here's some quick facts about us. If you don't know us already, we are from Painesville, Ohio. So if you don't know where that is, we have a handy little map um, to kind of show you where we are right up by the lake. Um, we are a historic campus, so we were founded in 1856. Um, relatively small, so our student body is only about 1,200 students, so our student to faculty ratio is about 14 to 1, which means that you're going to have um, an average class size of about 15 students. Some may have a little bit more, some have a little less, but typically you're going to have a very small personal uh, classroom size. 78% of our students are residential. Um, we have 60 majors and minors combined. 19 NCAA Division II sports and three riding teams that we'll be talking about later as well. So in Painesville, Ohio, um, just within a mile of campus, we have a bunch of fun things going on. We have a Chipotle, we have a McDonald's, a Dunkin' Donuts, an Arby's. Um, this upper uh, picture shows our historic Main Street where there's his uh, little local coffee shops and diners. So you won't be bored within walking distance of campus. Heading out 10 minutes a little bit, we have two parks uh, that are beaches that uh, we have access to because we are very close to the lake. We do have two beaches. There's also a Target and Chick-fil-A, a Moe's. So all the necessities are within a short drive from campus. And 30 minutes away, we are pretty close to Cleveland. And, you know, as a big city, there's plenty of fun things to do in Cleveland as well. So we have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We have the Zoo, Westside Market, Playhouse Square. Uh, we have all of the big sports teams located in Cleveland. So there's plenty of things to do. Oftentimes, student life sometimes gives out tickets and takes you down there. So you get to really enjoy the big city life just 30 minutes away as well from campus. So as we said, we have about 60 majors and minors combined and they all fall within five different schools. So we have the School of Natural Science and Mathematics, which has your biology track. So if you wanna go pre-med, um, we have chemistry, environmental science, mathematics, all under that school. 
The School of Business has, of course, accounting, finance, marketing, all of that fun stuff. The School of Education and Professional Studies has a bunch of different options if you want to teach. So we have early childhood. We have adolescent young adult if you want to teach high school. We have a special education program as well. So there are plenty of different things that you can do within teaching as well, if that's something you're interested in. Um, our fourth school is the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, which is kind of a broad school, which has anything from criminal justice to music to psychology. So you can really find some interest in there. And a unique part about our school is that we do have a school of equine studies. So if you're interested in equestrian, um, that might be something you might want to look into as a major or even a minor. We have equestrian facility management, if you want to be a teacher trainer. Uh, therapeutic horsemanship is a big major as well. So if you're into horses, that might be something you want to look into. We do also offer three different graduate programs, and those would be the physician assistant program, highly competitive. Um, we also do have the Parker MBA program and the Masters of Ed program. The MBA has the option, we do have a four plus one opportunity for business students that wish to go further in their studies and earn a master's degree in business. You can cut out a whole year of master's classes by taking them at the undergraduate level um, if you wanna go that route and you can get your master's of business in only five years instead of six. And here is, um, some more information on our physician's assistant program. Nope, not that. This. Hello, welcome to Lake Erie College. My name is Sean Kramer and I am the director of the Lake Erie College PA program. If you're thinking about being a physician assistant, you picked an awesome field. And I can tell you, you should really consider going to Lake Erie College as an undergraduate. There are a lot of great opportunities that any student from another college would not have by coming here. First of all, the preparation at the undergraduate level is phenomenal, and it, you will be prepared for our program. Uh, another thing that you need to realize, too, is we get about 1,000 applicants as a graduate program each year for only 26 spots. And as an undergraduate, you have a guaranteed interview, should you be interested, if you hit our minimum requirements. And only about 100 students get an interview each year, which cuts about 900 people out. Okay. The other awesome opportunity that you need to really consider is the early acceptance opportunity. And for that, we have a little bit higher standards, but at the end of your sophomore year, you can apply to it. And if you do receive it, you have a spot in the Lake Erie College PA program. The PA field is exploding right now. Healthcare is amazing. And there are jobs. Our students have phenomenal results. 100% pass rate on the boards, 100% employment within 12 months. 100% retention. Every single student who started the program wanted to continue academically finished. There are a lot of great things about our program and feel free to visit us here at Lake Erie College and we'd be happy to tell you more. All right, so that is a little bit more information about our Physician's Assistant Program, if that's something you're interested in. Um, Lake Erie is definitely a great place to start to kind of get that leg up um, to be able to get into the program. Now, here, is where we come in is our merit scholarships um, for freshmen all incoming full-time undergraduate students will be considered for merit scholarships based upon their cumulative gpas and act or sat scores so the scholarships are automatically awarded to students upon admission so you don't have to apply to them separately um, you're automatically considered for them once you apply Merit scholarships are automatically renewed each academic year, given that the student remains within good academic standing. And merit scholarships can be combined with almost all other institutional scholarships offered by LEC, including athletic scholarships. So here gives the breakdown of our merit scholarships. They do range from $10,000 to $17,600. And what you get depends on where you fall with your GPA and your test score. So if you look at it, you can kind of see where you'd fall in. Um, so that is how we determine our scholarships. 
We do have a little bit of a different merit scholarship program for transfers. So if you're a transfer student, all incoming full-time undergraduate transfer students will be considered for merit scholarships based upon their academic careers at their previous institutions. So the cumulative GPA for from every other institution that you have gone to are taken into consideration when awarding transfer scholarships. So those transfer scholarships are based on your GPA and they range from $8,000 to $14,000 each year. Hello. One second. Okay, having trouble loading that. Okay, so here we have, hmm? all right, <laughs> there's a video on our pathway to empowerment that I guess I will just talk about because the video doesn't wanna work. So um, the pathway to empowerment is, um, we have this power up scholarship program that enables students to earn scholarships by engaging in activities throughout the school year that align with the pathway to empowerment. So the pathway to empowerment is this overarching program that kind of helps you develop into the person that you wanna be throughout your time here. So throughout the 2019-2020 school year, Power Up students participated in several events, including career panels, field trips, large keynote presentations, suffrage celebration events, sustainability speaker events, internships, networking events, um, students who participated in and reflected upon at least three events per semester received a $1,000 scholarship for the 2020-2021 school year. So this program is meant to help you kind of get into the world, gives you internship opportunities, it gives you learning opportunities within your interests outside of, you know, college where you kind of get to explore more than just inside the classroom. So um, it's a very unique opportunity that we offer and you can also get money for it. So that's always a fun thing as well. All right, let's hope this video works. or not. <laughs> okay, just give me one second to restart my PowerPoint. <laughs> Having some technical issues. Hey, we're back. So sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I can get this to work again or not. Okay. This one wants to work. Perfect. <laughs> The small campus at Lake Erie College uh, really benefits students because we develop a very close relationship to our professors and to our students. Every time I come to the cafeteria, I can sit with whoever because I know everyone. Every time I walk to class, I know the people. We all hang out together and becomes a family. Well, Lake Erie offers a lot of different organizations students can be involved in. I personally got involved into student government my sophomore year and I'm the representative for athletics 
and to work for um, the international students. And then I'm also on the board of the Sustainability Club. I am the treasurer of our Student Government Association. I am the president of our Black Student Union on campus. I'm the president of our Mortar Board Society, which is our National Honor Society on campus. And then I'm also a student ambassador. The way that I feel like all those leadership positions are gonna help me the most is showing me how important leadership is when it comes to service. Our library just got newly renovated and it's an awesome place to just relax and chill with your friends, even if you don't wanna study, just to have a quiet place or a place for you to go where you wanna just watch TV or get some coffee or anything like that. I love to go to the library. If you wanna eat on campus, you have the Lincoln Lounge. They have great freshly made coffee and some snacks and Gatorade and stuff like that. Then we have the cafeteria. They have the salad bar, which is fresh and great. They have pizza available all the time and they have like a special bar where they have something special, fancy food. Because we're such a small campus, it allows for students to be able to communicate with each other thoroughly and to understand that they're not necessarily alone in the big world out here because Lake Erie is a place where you can make friends from any avenue, from any walk of life. Yeah, so one great thing about our campus is it is truly a family because we are such a small community. As you can see by our students in this video, I mean, everybody knows each other. It's such a great atmosphere because you really get to know everybody and it really does feel like a family. Another unique thing about our campus is that we do have equestrian teams. We have three of them. So if you are um, a rider, we do have opportunities for that as well. So we have the IHSA Hunt Seat. So the Intercollegiate Horse Show Association team at Lake Erie College participates with other colleges in Hunt Seat equitation com competitions. Sorry, I had a hard time with those words. Riders draw for horses and compete on the flat or over fences. We also do have the Western team. So the team competes at IHSA Western horse shows throughout the school year in horsemanship and reining classes. So the team welcomes both experienced Western riders and new riders who want to try the Western discipline as well. So riders are needed to are needed from beginner to open levels, providing opportunities for riders of just about every level to join the team and compete. So if you're if that's something you're interested in, but are a beginner, you can also get involved in that as well. The IDA uh, Dressage as the 2011 Intercollegiate Dressage Associ Association National Champion, the Lake Erie College Dressage team is continuing its winning tradition as a national powerhouse. The team consists of students from all levels of ability interested in learning more about the sport of dressage including riding, training, and showing. Each team member practices weekly in preparation for shows hosted throughout Michigan and Ohio. All right, and here's a video talking more about our equine programs. Here at the School of Equine Studies, we have four different majors that students can study. Our original major was equine facility management. Also, we have equine entrepreneurship. Equestrian teacher trainer English, those students have to ride to the highest level in our program in three English riding disciplines, in dressage, in hunters, and stadium jumping. So um, those students are in the TAC virtually every semester, at least one riding class a semester. Our newest major, and possibly our most popular major right now, is equine therapeutic horsemanship. Students can major in equine therapeutic horsemanship and track in the instructor track or the administrator track. The instructor track is the student who wants to actually teach riding lessons to participants riding the horse. So they need to be a very good rider. The administrator track is for students who are passionate about working in the therapeutic industry. And so they would select that track in that major. We really work hard with our students to get them to work on projects and take on learning endeavors that enable them to reach for something deeper and stronger in themselves. One of the best ways we do that is through internships. We have people go outside of the country a lot. We send people to pretty much anything, anywhere. We had a girl who said she wanted to do jousting, so we found her a place where she could do like jousting shows through the summer. 
the teacher trainer majors usually go work with young horses or work with training horses under a well-known trainer somewhere in the country or outside the country. The therapeutic students get internships that help them get their teaching hours to work towards path certification. I did an internship at Fieldstone Farm, which is a therapeutic riding center in Chagrin Falls. So one of the things that prospective students always want to know is, can I ride on a team? So the answer is almost invariably yes. Our teams are open for all Lake Erie College students to try out for a spot on the team. We are in the IHSA horse show system. So we have an IHSA Huntsy team, an IHSA Western team, and an Intercollegiate Dressage Association team. And the teams form a very cohesive group for students to uh, have school pride, work hard, learn a lot, travel together, and it really is one of the most attractive and memorable experiences for a college student to be on a riding team. So there is some more information on our equine programs. And now, so I'm going to start talking about the admission process. So in order to apply, we have a online application on our website, and we also do have the common application. We accept the common well, so sorry. We accept the common application as well. So that seems to be a popular one among students. Um, then we just need a test score or in your high school transcripts. Uh, we do recommend other uh, materials. So an essay and a letter of recommendation are not required, but they always you know, make you seem like more of a person than just a GPA and a test score. And um, we love to read those and we love to see those. So they are not required, but you are more than welcome to send those in. So we have a process. Once you apply, then you get accepted, all right? Um, you are awarded your merit scholarships then when you're accepted. Then you apply for the FAFSA and you get your uh, financial aid information, then you deposit. It's a $200 deposit to secure your uh, space in the class, and then you enroll in your classes. So that's kind of how you make your way down the funnel. We also do have a virtual education day coming up, if that is something that you are interested in, if you're an education person or want to just know more about an education opportunities that are available at Lake Erie College. Um, join us at Lake Erie College's annual School of Education virtual visit day. You can meet faculty, ask any questions you have regarding a major in education, and become eligible for an LEC talent scholarship um, as well. So we have two different days. We have Wednesday, November 4th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that is if you're interested in special education or preschool through 12 mild to moderate intervention specialist. And Thursday, November 5th is if you're interested in teaching pre-K through five. And that is also from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can just go on our website and register for that if so, that's something you're interested in. And if you have any questions, of course, you can ask them right now. And then here's our, info, uh, our contact information as well. I'm Kaylee White. Um, I have Alyssa here. You can feel free to reach out to one of us or just our general admissions at lec.edu uh, email uh, to ask any questions if you have anything that you would like to know more about. All right, thank you, Kaylee. So we ended up having a couple of questions that I um, received from a few people. So obviously, since you talked about um, our school being a heavily division two, athletic school. There was a question, um, do we give athletic aid for division two athletes? And yes, we do. So um, you get your merit scholarship, which Kaylee talked about. So depending on where you're going to fall in between those four categories is the merit that you're going to get on the admission side. Now, if you are in contact with the coach and you decide to commit and come to our institution to play a sport, um, at that point, the coach can award you a scholarship on top of that. So we do have some options to stack a couple of different scholarships. Now, like we or like Kaylee talked about, too, if you're interested in our Pathway to Empowerment program, that's another scholarship that you can go ahead and stack to on those. And then whatever you're going to bring from your high school or um, those different scholarship opportunities within your area, you can also stack on top of that, too. So definitely a bunch of different ways that you can kind of add up those scholarships and make it a little bit more affordable. Another question 
that we have is, are there opportunities for internships? And we actually have an entire department um, designed just specifically for our students on getting the internships that they want and um, are gonna help them kind of get further in their career as well. We have a great relationship with the Cleveland Clinic. We have a partnership with UH where a lot of our um, biology students can do shadowing and um, kind of get a, a better idea for internships in those pre-med areas to see where they might want to fall. We also have a great partnership with a ton of different corporations in the area. Just speaking a couple off my head, but Luberzol and Steris are some large companies in the Meta area that um, we work closely with to develop some of those business internships as well as with Cleveland being 30 minutes away, we have an opportunity for many of our students to work downtown and um, get those internships as well there. So there's a lot of opportunity for that. And then um, also, are there test optional opportunities? And we definitely are seeing that with um, the whole COVID situation that there are some opportunities with our admission side that we are allowing students to um, apply test optional. All they have to do is send um, some extra documents, which are gonna be um, the two letters of recommendation, a writing sample and a 500 word essay on top of their application and um, the transcripts as well. Um, so we are providing that for students that are unable to take their test during COVID. So those are all the questions I have right now. Um, I guess we'll wait a minute or two to see if anyone has anything else, but I think that's about it. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, Thank you so much for everyone who has joined us. Um, thank you for bearing with my technical difficulties and uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you so much. If you all don't mind, I will share my screen for a moment and we will um, wrap this up. Here we go. Da -da -da. And then ladies, if you can give me a thumbs up if you see my screen. Perfect. So thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, before you exit or when you exit, we have a quick survey for you to complete. It's four questions. We would love to have some feedback from you. Um, if you have enjoyed the session this evening, we have one more day of session. So we encourage you to sign up for presentations tomorrow we have more colleges, about six or seven um, colleges presenting. So we would love to have you join us again. If you go on to our website, inacac.org forward slash virtual dash college dash exploration, you can sign up for more opportunities. Plus, you can uh, listen to any of our recordings, including the recording of this session. Once again, thank you all so much for joining us and everyone have a wonderful evening. Ladies, you as well.